Now, well, the man I know, morning meteorologist, is always dressed to impress every day like meteorologist Damon Singleton. You know, I'm just trying to be like you, Daryl. Ah, come on, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm trying to be like you, man. Come on. Well, I'll tell you what. As we look out from uh, the Hyatt Regency camera at the Caesars Superdome, skies above the dome are mostly clear as you are across most of the area this morning. Got some showers and storms just offshore, uh, but that's the only rain that's really in the area right now. Out in the tropics, we are following very closely what's happening in the Atlantic, but as you can see in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, everything's nice and quiet. Uh, tropical storm Ernesto, however, in the Atlantic is going to be a big issue for the folks in the Upper Antilles and parts of uh, the Virgin Islands, uh, the American and the UK Virgin Islands, plus Puerto Rico over the next uh, couple of days. There's some other tropical waves out there, but nothing else showing any real tropical potential as this storm is going to make its way uh, around the Bermuda High over the course of the next several days over water that's uh, like in the mid 80s, mid to upper 80s, which is plenty warm enough for uh, further strengthening for this particular system. But it's going to be dealing with some measure of dry air on its path, and there's also uh, some measure of Sahara dust out there as well. So hopefully those will keep it from becoming what it is expected to become, which is like a category two hurricane. And right now, now it looks like that's going to be happening uh, by the time we get to Friday and into the weekend as this thing moves over or near Bermuda. But it's going to become a, a hurricane, likely become a Category 1 hurricane at least uh, Wednesday into Thursday. So we've got our eyes on this, and we'll let you know uh, right away if anything changes. But models are generally in agreement that this thing is headed up towards Bermuda, which is right there. Uh, let me show you what's happening here locally. Your headlines for today, a weather impact day here at WDSU because the heat advisory is back. An air quality alert is in effect because ozone is at the orange level. But we are expecting some scattered rain and some storms today and through the weekend uh, as well. But those rain chances overall, especially today through Friday, are staying pretty low at about 20 to 30 percent. The heat advisory stretches across uh, Louisiana into Mississippi, over towards Texas and into Oklahoma as well for us all of southeast louisiana hancock and pearl river counties issued because heat index values in some parts of our area could rise to about 112 degrees uh, so big heads up for all of us across southeast louisiana the air quality alert is in effect for st tammany on the north shore and down here on the south here just about all of us except for lafouche and terrebonne parishes you are not under that air quality alert but we all need to really pay attention uh, to the air quality today because ozone is at the orange level for many of us. And if your kids have uh, respiratory issues or if the adults have respiratory issues, you need to keep track of how long you're exerting yourself uh, outdoors today. And keep in mind the UV index is at the upper end of the very high range. So you got to protect yourself from the dangerous rays of the sun. Put on the hat, the shades, the sunscreen, wear lightweight, light color clothing, keep yourself as hydrated as possible and take breaks in the shade and in the AC if at all possible. Not a huge difference between temperature and how warm it feels outside, except over at the lakefront where it's 87, but it feels like 97 degrees uh, this afternoon. Triple digits are expected, so big heads up there. And the radar picture right now is nice and clear, except for some showers and storms along the coastline and out into the northern Gulf of Mexico. Temperatures right now, mid-70s to mid-80s. This afternoon, they'll be rising into the mid to upper 90s. This model is at 100 degrees over the airport. You can see some of the rainfall that we're expecting today as well. So very hot and humid day today. Tomorrow, temperatures may even inch up a little bit higher than what we're expecting today. This model says 101 over the airport with that 20 to 30 percent chance of rainfall. It looks like the biggest rain day of the week is going to be on Thursday as your temperatures rise mid 90s for most of us, some upper 90s, but the higher chance of rainfall, especially for us down here on the South Shore. Here's a quick look at your WDSU first warning seven day forecast. Not much of a break in the temperatures until we get to Sunday uh, afternoon highs of about 96 degrees, which days just a little bit of a break, right? A little bit, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Well, as you're waking up, 